R.I.P. the rich homie Quan, man. Um, if you don't know what's going on, or even if you do know, I'm just go ahead and reiterate it, uh, reiterate the situation. Rich homie Quan passed away. I mean, we found out he passed away today. Um, found by his girlfriend at the time. Um, if you don't know the situation, because at first I didn't know what happened, then I learned more about the situation from you know research. Apparently, uh, bro took some fake uh, perks, and uh, at, I guess last night. He was, he passed out, he was asleep. His girlfriend saw him there. She didn't think much of it. Went to sleep, woke up, took her son to school or whatever, took her kid to school. Um, and uh, she came back and bro was still there. Um, she, no, I think she said, how, how did she say? What did she say? She said, uh, when she, in the morning, before taking her son to school, she put a blanket over him because he was still there. So she thought, you know, since he didn't come in and sleep, he's passed out there, all that good stuff, right? Um, anyway, she comes back from that and Brad's still there and he has no heart rate, no, you know, all that good stuff that she calls the people and that's how they found out bruh passed. Um, so RIP the bruh, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy to find out that rich homie, you know what I mean? I mean, this is rich homie, bruh, like rich homie, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's, it's crazy to think that, you know, cause this, this whole fentanyl thing and all that has been, is gone wild. You see? I don't know. You know, I don't know if anybody, because a lot of people will say, oh, stay away from drugs com completely. It's not really even that, to be honest, because everything we do kind of has its own uh, scare or fear to it. So if you tell somebody that's already into something, hey, stay away from it, uh, you might die. They're going to be like, bro, we can die from anything. That's not the issue. The issue is being more careful with whatever vice you have. You know, trying to tell somebody don't do a vice is dumb. You can't tell nobody don't do nothing. You know what I mean? But you can tell them, hey, yo, that vice you're into, bro, is dangerous right now, bro. You're gonna have to be extra careful. You know, sometimes when we put a lot of effort into, put a lot of work into uh, uh, trying to achieve some of these things, um, like trying to do some of these vices, then we realize that these vices ain't really what we into. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I'm gonna say this. Let's say you found out that, you know, when you smoking a bleezy, you know, for you to smoke a bleezy, like, you know, you at home, you can smoke a bleezy anytime. Then you go somewhere where for you to smoke a bleezy, you have to walk a mile. You can't smoke in the apartment, whatever it is. You have to walk a mile to smoke a blunt. I promise you, you, gonna, you ain't going to be smoking as much as, you know, as though you had it around you, you know what I'm saying, where it's easily available. And that's what I'm saying. It's not about cutting the vice all the way out. Don't tell nobody, oh, stop doing this. No, no. It's like, bro, be careful. Be extremely careful. You know what I'm saying? Because in that process of you being careful, you're going to realize that, bro, I don't really even want to do this, joint. Like, real talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, you know, as I said, RIP the bro, because rich homie, bro, like, I, 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 I fuck with bro. Like, I thought bro, bro disappeared from the whole scene for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Ko, uh, Ko, Ko Fifi with Draven, man. For uh, Shout out to you. Uh, but um, what was I about to say? I lost a train of thought. Um, but um, yeah, Rich Homie had disappeared for a little minute, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he had disappeared for, for like, nobody knew where he was for a little minute. You know what I mean? Um, I remember, you know, if you don't know, I'm Nigerian, born and raised. But when I came to America, I've been in America for a while. Uh, it was I went to the South. I was in uh, Tennessee, Nashville, to be specific, right? So when I went to Nashville, of course, you know what I'm saying? I came in 2012, literally the beginning of 2012. So all the music wave, that's when the trap was hidden, live mixtapes, that piff, all that good stuff. You know, Rich Homie was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Rich Homie, uh, uh, when I came, he wasn't, you know, I, I didn't I didn't hear of him until I think the next year. But either way, once he, once he came up, he was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's sad to see or sad to hear, you know, that uh, the, the brother just passed away. 34? At 34 years old. 34 is pretty young. You know, uh, uh, bro, like... 34 is pretty young. He's not, he's not that much like, you know what I mean, older than me type thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just to think about how life, you know, you can, you can have it like this one day and you can lose it like that. It's, it's something that we as human beings, we as, um, I mean, we as people, we need to be more careful about. Truthfully, anything can take you. Anything can take your life. You know what I'm saying? Truthfully, anything can take your life. But you rather like the thing that takes you it takes you out not be something that, you know what I'm saying, you did to yourself. I mean, you know what I mean? Um, if you're chasing your goal and something happens, that's different, right? You're achieving something. But when you, let's say, for example, you put your hand in fire and you get burned, that's dumber, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to when, you know, I, I guess, stumble upon fire, right? If you pass from that or you get burned from that, it's the idea, no. 
But when you knew and you put your hand in it, then it's like, you know what I mean? What you going to tell the creator? I, I'm just, I picture this, you know, not to get too morbid about it. I'm just picturing, if you don't, I, you know, I gave the story earlier, right, about the girlfriend finding him there. Let's just assume, let's get a little spiritual with it. You know, this is Bert's off, right? You know, this is me, Almighty. You know what I mean? We love to talk deeper, conscious, spiritual stuff. If Bert had passed away, moment, like hours, because clearly he had to have passed away hours, because, you know, she, overnight, she came and saw him. He was gone for a while, right? Um, if his if his soul, his spirit, his entity, whatever you know, was there around, right? How do you think he felt at that time? You know what I'm saying? By the way, R.I.P. the bro. It's just I'm just thinking like, how do you think bro felt at that time? Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this happened at night. Let's say he choked on whatever it is, you know, and passed at night. So from what I'm hearing, these pills, perks, or whatever it is, what they do is slow your heart rate down. And of course, let's let's be honest. I'm, by the way, if you don't know, I was pre-med in school and graduate with a, a biology degree and microbiology and stuff like that. But these, if, when something slows your heart rate down, slowing your heart rate and speeding up your heart rate all have to do with pumping blood. Your heart. You, I don't know if you, you know fight or flight. When you experience that fight or flight, when everything looks slow or that superhuman strength, that adrenaline push, is because your heart rate is pumping super fast. Your butt, like. Think of your heart rate like, like, uh, think about it like a pause and play type thing, right? Regular heart rate is, is regular play, right? You know, this is regular play. Once you speed it up, right, that's increasing your heart rate. You know, it goes in super max, right? Of course, like this, you know, the opposite is also the case, right? Where basically slowing your heart rate means everything slows down. Now you can imagine from what I just told you, you slow your heart rate down too slow, you can either one be perceived as dead or you could die because when you start slowing your heart rate there's a lot of things in our body that needs these fast uh, uh blood right blood moves within your body within milliseconds right like real shit like blood is moving within milliseconds not a second like millis like it's really moving so fast pumping with your, you know what i mean so <coughs> when you were drawing these things that used to milliseconds response of blood now you maybe giving it maybe a second maybe even more you know, maybe minutes or, you know, all these organs that need, oh, they're going to shut down. It, it just makes sense, right? And that's, so bro could have passed away. You know, he, he did pass away. He, he did pass away peacefully. I mean, well, I can't say peacefully because who knows? He might have been choking. He might have opened his eyes to realize he was I don't even know. I'm not even trying to. But the main thing is, what I'm saying is, let's imagine if bro was there in a spectral form, right? When this happened, let's say it happened overnight. Of course, he can't. You know, as, as a as a spec specter or whatever it is, as a as a spirit, you can't affect things. You can't really touch things. You can't, you know, what I'm saying. So let's assume that, bro. How do you think, bro, was feeling? I'm I'm saying this because we have friends, we have people that are involved, you know, that have vices, right? As I said, trying to tell them to stop that vice is not going to work. Like it, that's not how that works. Their brain is completely changed, different. You can't, you don't, unless you're on the vice too, you can't think of, you know, you can't think the way they think. You know what I'm saying? So of course now, imagine birds right there watching this situation. How do you think he felt? Do you feel sad? Do you think he felt, uh, you know what I mean? Man is 34, you know what I mean? So whatever vice you're into, whatever thing, always understand be careful bro be careful moderate your thing like we are, see we can't do everything ourselves we need people bro sometimes some things that you think you can do by yourself aka i can handle this vice by myself you probably you could but you ain't so if you ain't get some help you feel what i'm saying like this whole situation i'm not even gonna lie i, I was shocked i was shocked i was shocked I, I you know i wake up early and i do my my morning uh uh, meditation and, and you know mental state and all that you know what i mean and um i see that and i was just like yo like what the fuck it's my past for what like what you know what i mean and then come to find out you know what it was i was i didn't even know bro even you know well perks and stuff like that is, is very common within rappers and stuff but i didn't know bro took stuff like that i really did i had no idea so finding that out you know it just i was just like damn you know what i mean People, I'm, I'm definitely gonna do a video to talk about it, you know uh, uh, these these uh, vices. You know what I'm saying, and not to tell you, hey, stop, completely stop vices. Nah, what I'm trying to tell you is, be careful. You know what I'm saying. Most of these vices you think you're doing, it's only because they're accessible to you. If they weren't accessible to you, you probably wouldn't do. Them. Real talk.
Like, you know what I'm saying? So just be careful with that, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't know, man. I RIP the Rich Homie Kwan, you know, condolences to his family, his girlfriend, you know, that can you imagine? Can you just imagine? Let's, let's, let's talk about old girl. Like, imagine being old girl, you know what I'm saying? One night you're with this guy, the next morning, bruh's gone. That is, that can be heart shattering, bro. It can be, you know, and, and if you haven't had death happen around you, then you probably don't understand. When a close person dies and someone that is like so close, like maybe you saw the person yesterday and then today they're gone. When that happens to you, it, 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 it restructures your brain because it's watching death in movies and all that stuff is cool. But when it's something, look, when the person has been woven into the tapestry of your life and then that, that thread, that, that fabric is no more there you just you can feel it like it, it it makes mortality feel so much more realer to you you know what i'm saying it's much more authentic you know what i'm saying and some people can't handle that you know that trauma that realization some people it's just too much you know because society let's be realistic society doesn't necessarily teach you or train you for things like this you know what i'm saying society kind of just you know is is very surface level right so they don't, it doesn't train you how to deal with laws, how to, no, not that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you have to kind of mentally deal with that yourself and diff people do different things. People handle it in different ways. Some people get into vices, you know what I'm saying? Who knows, maybe, bro, got, you know, you know, Rich Homie, Rich Homie was going, he was, you know, he's part of this, not part, but he's, his name was dropped around in this whole uh, Lil Woody YSL trial thing, all this good stuff, right? So I, I'm just, I'm just shocked, bro. You know, I'm just shocked by the whole thing and, and, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl, man, you be strong, girl. Be strong, be strong. Everybody else that's involved in vices, just be careful. You know what I'm saying? Don't get into some that, you know what I mean? Just just be careful. Just just understand that, you know, if you want to live long to whether you enjoy your vices or like whatever, do something else, you might want to cut that crap out. You know what I'm saying? Or be extremely careful about it. You know what I'm saying? Just just saying. Just, you know, let, let me know your thoughts about it as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not trying to be the only one, you know, I, I definitely want to, I also want to get people's opinions about the situation because, they, you know, it's, it seems pretty, uh, it's a, it's a pretty touchy situation. I ain't going to lie. You know what I mean? But yeah, let me hear your thoughts about it. Almighty push.